uh, Delegate McQuinn is the first of two people named to this 11 person commission, and she says they'll be looking at the authentic history of African Americans in Virginia's 401 year history and the systemic racism, racism that they have faced during that time and figure out ways to dismantle that. Giving people opportunity who have been left out of the equation and for generations. Democratic delegate Dolores McQuinn on one of the end goals of the new commission she's been appointed to created by legislation. She sponsored this past session. She says it will study the African American experience in Virginia. Pull the covers back on those things that are often hidden. Stretching back to the Commonwealth's founding and slavery in 1619 through Jim Crow and massive resistance and up to how they continue to feel the impacts of systemic racism today in places like education, health and housing inequity. Very oppressive uh, laws and practices that was constituted and instituted to continue uh, to again, once again, to oppress a race of people. Commenting on the timeliness of the commission's formation as protests continue in response to the death of George Floyd, McQuinn says the anger and frustration that's being seen now has grown out of systemic racism. And the casualty of systemic racism and institutional racism um, happens every day. Uh, George Floyd and many others uh, have been casualty of systemic racism. And McQuinn says once that history and its impact has been compiled, the commission will make recommendations to the governor and general assembly on ways to dismantle systemic devaluation and racism and level the playing field. There need to be some things that are done intentional, intentionally and deliberately to help address these disparities before we are at a point that the next generation will be able to have a much better life and much prosperous life as well. And McQuinn says the commission will officially be formed on July 1st per the legislation and will run for at least two years. She says they don't have their first meeting scheduled yet as not all members have been named.